So here we are, transfer window time. Let's see what madness we can get up to. Hello and welcome back to another FM23 Dr. Benji Challenge video. This time we have the transfer special. It was a disgusting ending to the season for us. And yeah, I can't wait to literally rid this club FM manager style. Best um, deal of the season was Shade. 13 games, 3 sub appearances, 9 goals, 3 assists. Very good player and will only get better over time, really. And then all these, you know, we didn't bring in most of these players. So let's just get on with the important stuff. We don't have to worry about any of this. Our reputation stays the same. So what are our budgets? Let's find out. We've gained followers. None of that's changed. Uh, we'll accept the version. End season meeting. And there we go. And there we go. And there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. New season team report. Don't care. Give us the budget. Give us the budget. Oh, we've sold this guy. Um, give us the budget. We just need to see a budget of some sort. Um, okay, that's fine. Right, I'll come back when we have a budget. Well, this is going to be a short and fun transfer window. We've been given no budget. 20 million was our budget given to us. We spent most of that on Thurham. So we've got no budget, even though... Even though we have 85 million in the bank now, no budget, 2 million. And because we're overdrawn here, we need to bring this back. We are spending 2.859. So, yeah, we have no budget whatsoever. Great. Let's see what we can do, if anything at all. Things have gone wrong. We've been knocked out of the German Cup in the first round. Problem number one. Players. On too big of wages, won't leave the club. Problem number two. Oh, we don't have any budget. Transfer budget neither. And there's problem number three. So I'm going to take you through what we've managed to do. How are we overspending? That's my question. Um. Oh, okay. I'm just going to accept that because I, I need him out my hair. Don't know why I've just accepted, but. Yeah, we, we just need rid of this guy. Just to get the wage off more than anything else to get 12 million back. That is fine with me. Um, So let me take you three our transfers. So this guy went. People were wound up about that. This guy went. No one really cared about that. This guy has now gone. Fantastic news. Um... People didn't really care about that. Pasolak has gone. <coughs> Basically, we've got rid of a lot of nothing. And we have managed to bring in some quality. Marcus Durham has come in. We've also brought in Thierry Randall Correa. <coughs> Sorry about that. We've also brought in Thierry Randall uh, Correa as well. And, you know, we're in for 22 and a half million. Nothing special, but he's what the scouts picked up. We brought in Danilo, who looks like a really good player. Born for 22 million from SCP. And how much is he worth now? So he's worth that already. He's only 22. And Bubakar Kamara for, I think it was 70 million overall. Or 62 million. And as we can see, he is in that range too. He's only 23. And can play in either of these two positions. So, that's all good. Right? That's not so good. And to show you why and how bad this is. He's playing the third league. And this is what happened. So I'm actually going to scout these two players, see if they're any good. Because they did score two goals against us. I'm not going to scout them, he's too old. But, yeah. 
this is definitely our issue. The squad is as well as we brought Copar in on loan as well. This is the size of the squad. Why won't it let me do it? 21. So it's doable, but not comfortably doable. And I don't know where on earth we can go, in all honesty. So because the chance window so far has been so short, because nothing really has happened, because we haven't had the money to make anything happen, we're going to play the first match of this uh, Bundesliga yeah, and just see how bad of a drilling we are facing here. So... Bellingham's back, but it's not fully fit, and we oh, we haven't registered players. So let me go back and do that. Squad registration. So clear selection filter. Uh, so this is the team going into that first game: Kobel, Rando, Correa, Hinkapai, Schlotterbeck, Guerrero, Kamara, Danilo, Reina, Palmer, Mukoko, and Shade. Because Adiyami is injured, Bellingham is injured, and North is not fit enough to start. Let's see, can we do something? Because the transfer window was quiet. Like, I've been recording this transfer window for one hour, and nothing in that time happened. I had tea in that time, so little happened in the game. It has been ridiculous. We wound up a lot of players as well, so morale isn't really there at the minute. And... It's just a massive... It's like managing in the Parks of Glory series where you're relying really on either free transfers or really bargain bucket players. But the difference is I'm managing Chester in the non-league. And the thing that Makoko is through here, can he put it in? No, he can't. Uh, the difference is in non-league, none of them are by a unit. Like, we made last year... 50, well, this season, 58 million for sponsorships, 80 million in prize money. We also made money in TV sales, and Rain is now injured, and the ball's in. Um, we also made money from sales as well. So, I, I don't understand how the money situation is has got so bad at um, Borussia Dortmund. G generally, not a clue how the situation has got to this point. Hinkapai puts it in the back of the net. Good goal from Piero Hinkapai. But I am worried. I'm generally, because we don't have the spending power. Like, okay, we broke... To put it this way, before this window... Borussia Dortmund's highest spending year was 39 million euros. We spent 122 million, but a lot of that's beefed out over three years. And I'm, I'm really worried. Like, if any of these players get critically injured, not like, you know, they'll knock, but like critical, critical injury, we could be in... A world of hair. Makoko does drop the second goal. Flag hasn't gone up, so that is brilliant. Um, but we are going to be in such trouble. It's unbelievable. Such, such trouble. And there's nothing that I can really do about it. There's no magic formula here or magic remedy. The scouts aren't finding much, which a bit odd, considering the size of the club. But it's like... Nothing properly works the way it should. Guerrero now puts it in, and Hinkpai doesn't get there. Wolf does. So, we are just being left in a world of unknown. Palmer, the loan is quite expensive. 50% of his salary puts a further 154000 a month. But, yeah, he's one of the best that we can do. We just don't have... The pulling power that a Bayern Munich has, or the financial power that Bayern Munich has, and we're two 0 up against a team that beat us twice last year. So all's looking okay right now, but yeah, I, I don't know. 
I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I don't know whether it's because it's getting, it's quite late at night now, and I'm tired, but there just doesn't appear to be any hope with this team. Like, the team is significantly weaker this season than it was last season, but I'm hoping that, that we can sell the likes of Royce, the likes of Emre Jan, just to raise some money. You know, we sell them at discounted rates just to get a little bit of money coming into the pot. And that's all I've got at the current minute is selling to... Bring on Thurum, I think, for Shade. And Danilo looks like he needs a wrestle. Ring on. Oh, and then, of course, we pick up an injury. Schultz can come on, though, thankfully. Oh, we've just done that change. Oh, why doesn't this game just work? So, you know, I don't, I just don't know where, where we stand. Like, next episode is going to be interesting because next episode will be the next two games and the end of the transfer window. And if we can't convince him of the big players to leave then we're in massive, massive trouble. And that's why I would say Makoko, Ozcan, but no, it's up by summer. We are in some serious trouble, and I don't know how we're going to pull ourselves out of it. And the ball is with Singo. Singo now is running to Hoffman. Hoffman to Kone. Kone to Wolf. Wolf back to Singo. Singo... Being allowed to run here, uh, throwing a tackle would be nice, and that's another good save uh, by Kobel, who was one of our star players last year, and it is still the case now. And they're Berriton Diaz up front. Palmer puts the ball in, ball back out, but Hinkapai will be the first to get there. Hinkapai to Palmer. Palmer shoots. Not a bad shot in the end from Cole Palmer. And, you know, we have got an optional £57 million Close to buy him. I don't think we'll be triggering that in truth. I think he's not going to be worth that much to us. But it's what we have to do right now. And we have been very dominant in this match in truth. We really, really, really need to work on our fitness. Just to make sure that we can stay. Well, stay more fit. That would be the correct wording really. But that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed. Please leave a like, share, subscribe, turn that notification bell on, and leave a comment on who I should go out and buy or what kind of shenanigans I should try and do. But until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.